I'm going to make a really, really big prediction about Sonic the Hedgehog in 2019. What is that prediction? Let's discuss that right now. Hey there beautiful human, my name is Riders DX and welcome to my channel where today we're going to be talking a little bit more about Sonic the Hedgehog. So before we get started, I just want to highlight this um, fan speed drawing of my avatar. So let's take a look over here. The YouTube channel is called Hats Art and this is a pretty cool like nearly 3D drawing of metal duckles. So it's just pretty awesome to see the duck beak in its 3D glory. So yeah, just check this out. It looks pretty awesome. Definitely very different from what I've seen before so thanks so much for this i'll leave a link to the video in the description box below so you all can go check it out and fanboy over it as well but okay back to the topic at hand so talk about sonic the hedgehog in 2019 is a broad topic actually so let's go ahead and um specify this a little bit more so what really spurred this video idea is actually the sonic the hedgehog twitter yesterday posted this new concept art from frozen junkyard which is a brand new level in team sonic racing so i'm just going to quickly talk about that because i don't think it was worth like its own team sonic racing video Video, but it very much um, influenced this video in particular. So let's quickly go over what I think about that. It looks really, really awesome. I'm assuming this is a part of the Frozen theme in Team Sonic Racing. And it's just another example of even though there's only seven zones, there's a lot of variety within those zones. Like Ice Mountain, we know has like that icy feel and also that lava feel. And now we have another ice level that has um, robots attacking you in it. Kind of gives me a very strong Sonic Forces vibe. So I don't think there was a frozen level in Sonic Forces, but that robot reminds me very much the robots in Sunset Heights. So maybe there's a lot of influence from that level. We'll see. But yeah, it looks really great. I can't wait to see it in action. Like I can't really comment much else because this is just a concept art. So who knows what it actually looks like in person, but I'm assuming it's not too far off from this. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing um, how that turns out. But that's not the topic of this video. So I got to give credit what's due. Tails channel posted this tweet about a secret message that was tagged to um, this image on Tumblr. And when you look at the secret message, it's pretty, pretty interesting. So let me go ahead and read the tweet right now. New, straight from Sonic Hedgehog's latest Tumblr post on Frozen Junkyard. Here's a tease in a form of hashtags. We have a new music track arriving next Thursday, and it's not from hashtag Team Sonic Racing. And it's an extended remix of a track you've heard before. So let's go ahead and look at these bullet points in particular. These are the actual tags, I think. Hashtag now for a secret message. Hashtag we have a new music track arriving next Thursday and it's not from TSR. And it's an extended remix of a track you've heard before, but this is a brand new mix and it has a couple names involved we think you'll like. And that's all for the secret hashtag message. So very interesting. So it's nothing new that in terms of releasing new music tracks because they've been doing that for Team Sonic Racing for the past couple months or so. But what's very, very interesting is that it's not a track from Team Sonic racing so um, this is either a standalone track or it's part of a big new project that they're going to announce so there's more though so when tails channel posted this we actually had aaron weber reply to the tweet with another clue so here's what aaron weber said one more hint it's a boss theme from a classic game i've been listening to it on repeat this week can't wait to share it with everyone p.s high T lopes music so th there's a lot of information that we got from that so it's a boss theme it's from a classic game and since aaron weber is so involved in the community i'm sure he knows that a classic game means like sonic 1 sonic 2 sonic green knuckles you know all that jazz and he said the t lopes music is probably involved in the two like he didn't say it directly but he tagged t lopes so i think you could kind of assume that this remix was done by t lopes so yeah there's a lot of interesting things going on around here and so as as you all know, T. Lopes worked on Sonic Mania, Sonic Mania Adventures, and now Team Sonic Racing. So they've been pretty involved with the Sonic franchise as of late. So it's no surprise that they're developing music for whatever this is supposed to be. Although it does beg the question, why are we getting a remix of a random boss track from the classic games, but it's not tied to Team Sonic Racing? That's, that's very interesting to me. So this is actually what I'm coming to conclude. I think that this music track is a part of a brand 
brand new Sonic game. And I know that's a very, very big prediction to make, but I don't think it's that far off to think that there's going to be a new Sonic game coming out this year beyond Team Sonic Racing because technically Team Sonic Racing was supposed to come out last year. So that was supposed to be our big Sonic game last year. So it would not surprise me at all if they had like a bigger mainstream Sonic game coming out this year. And this tweet just really makes me think that there is something and that this music track will be like the first taste of it because if it's not tied to Team Sonic Racing, it's very, very hard to think of reasons why they would just release a randomly remixed track that's by itself, you know? Unless it was part of like a new music compilation or something, but I don't know. I just don't imagine Sega like bringing together these producers just to make music that's not tied to a video game because I don't know, unless they wanted to market it and try to like get some music sales out of it, which is pretty difficult nowadays because music doesn't really sell as much. It's more about streaming and I don't think honestly video game music just isn't that popular in terms of buying it on its own or streaming it on its own on streaming services so it's a lot more likely for this music to be tied to a project and so I'm pretty pretty certain that this new music track is tied to an upcoming project and we're probably gonna get that announcement once that music track comes out or at least a teaser trailer of some sorts with it and yes that's what I'm thinking now that's not my only prediction my prediction is that I'm actually very very certain that I think I actually have an idea of what that project is actually gonna be so there's a lot of um, variables in this equation like is it gonna be like a 3d sign game is it gonna be a 2d sign game is it gonna be something completely different a brand new formula you know so many things that we just don't know yet and I have a feeling that this is gonna be Sonic Mania 2 now, I think it's a pretty safe choice actually, if you think about it, because it's a remix of a classic Sonic track. Sonic Mania did so well and it was released a little over two years ago. It just seems like a perfect timetable to get another Sonic Mania coming in. Like, I know that two years seems like kind of a short development time for Sonic Mania 2, but Sonic games used to come out yearly, so this really isn't that much of a stretch. And plus, 2D games, like logically and just realistically wise, do not take nearly as many resources as it takes to make like say Sonic Generations or Sonic Unleashed you know it doesn't take nearly as many resources I'm sure if you just like made your team a little bit bigger and got things done a little bit more efficiently it's very very well possible that Sonic Mania 2 is almost all set to go to come out this year and I just think it makes perfect sense like I'd be really really surprised if Sega was not planning a Sonic Mania 2 I mean I did see this like article back in the summer when I was doing research about this video where Izuka said that Sonic Mania 2 was not currently in the works but here's the thing Sega has outright lied about what they've been doing before I mean I can't think but there was just I remember when Team Sonic Racing was about to be announced and there were some leaks coming out about there being a racing game and Aaron Weber outright said that there was no racing game coming out or something like that I don't know I think he said it on like a Sonic live stream or something if anyone can direct me to that clip then let me know in the comment section below but I am pretty certain that he outright lied about that and then we got the announcement of Team Sonic Racing sometime later so it's not completely out of the realm for Sega to be lying about what's going on, you know, just to keep things a bit of a surprise and to throw fans off. So I really, really think that there's a Sonic Mania 2 coming out, and I think it's perfectly feasible for them to have planned to have that come out this year. It just makes perfect sense for me. I mean, since you have the Sonic movie coming out in the fall, I think that plus the fact that this last 3D Sonic game wasn't received that well, I think that Sega is really working on trying to maybe develop something completely new for the next 3D Sonic adventure or just trying to refine the boost formula even more. Thing is, I think that that project is going to take a little bit more time. You know, just out of the sheer realism of how many resources and how much reworking needs to be done with the next 3D Sonic game. With Sonic Mania 2, you already have the blueprint for a successful game right there. All you have to do is just make those levels, add Amy Rose as a character, produce the new music tracks, and just stick to what worked before and you have another solid adventure. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to bet right now that we're going to get an announcement of Sonic Mania 2 when that music track comes out. Now, there's a very big chance I'm gonna be wrong. It might really just be a standalone music track, but this is what I think, and I'm gonna be so, so excited if I actually end up being right. But what do you all think about these um, 
secret messages. Do you think it's going to point to a Sonic Mania 2 also? Or do you think it's going to point to a 3D mainline Sonic game? Or do you think it points to something completely different? Now, I will say that I did see some comments about it possibly being part of Sonic movie, but that doesn't make much sense to me because Paramount has basically been handling everything related to the Sonic movie while Sega has been pretty silent on the Sonic movie in terms of promotion. So it'd just be really weird for me to see Sega all of a sudden release a music track that was going to be in the Sonic movie because it looks like Paramount amount is handling everything from here on out so I don't know maybe things will change but I'm pretty certain that this music track has nothing to do with the Sonic movie I think Sega's steering really clear from that if you want to check out another video of mine where I talked about that I'll leave a link in the top right corner right now but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think that this secret message is pertaining to do you think it means a brand new Sonic game or do you think it means something completely different or do you think it just means nothing and they're just releasing a nice little treat for everyone I mean that last option would be pretty disappointing, but it is possible. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. If you like videos like these, must see more in the future. Follow me on Twitter, RiderCX, or join my Discord server, The Spongy Garden. And yep, this is Riders, and I'm riding out.